said, you know, we had critical errors in way too many aspects of the football game, uh, offensively, defensively, and in the special teams. And when you when you add all those things together, you know, obviously a, a, a loss can result. And it wasn't one play, one individual, uh, but a, but a number of breakdowns. And it's something that that has to be fixed and will be fixed. We've got to play better at the quarterback position. Brian knows that, but. It, you know, when you look at that tape, you realize it, it clearly is not him. He's making the right reads. He's throwing the balls. Sometimes receivers are falling down. Sometimes they're not running the routes where they're supposed to be run. Uh, they're not reading the, the, the coverage correctly. Uh, so there's, there's a number of different reasons uh, as to why we haven't been starting fast. And, you know, part of it is we've got new guys at the quarterback position as well as the receiver positions. And so, it, you know, it's a function of being a young team. Uh, but th that's not an excuse. It, it, it is what it is. We've got to get better. We've got to demand it better at practice, and, and we've got to, you know, ensure that we've got the right guys out there doing it. There's nothing set in stone that these guys are going to be our starters, and we're only going to play these guys. You know, we, first we got to look at ourselves as coaches. You know, are we are we demanding enough in practice? Are are we holding guys accountable enough in practice? Uh, and, and are guys showing in practice that they can do it consistently? And if they're not, are we are we demanding enough? You know, are, are we doing enough live work to put our guys in, in positions? We miss way too many tackles. And there's always that balance of, you know, are you getting enough tackling done in practice relative to the, the risk factor of getting hurt? And, you know, with older teams, sometimes you don't need to, to hit as much. With, with younger guys, you got to put guys in position. But we had, you know, older guys that, that had opportunities to make plays, and unfortunately we didn't get it done. And so, you know, you got to go back to basics, and we're going to do that this week. We're, we're happy that we have Cody, uh, but we don't want to put him in some situations that, that, you know, his probability for success maybe not be as high as what we'd like it to be. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult, but it's something we have to navigate. We've got to finish drives more. You know, we've we, we got to do a better job defensively and, uh, you know, not let people tie games up or, you know, it goes into overtime, you know, those kind of things. Um, you know, Coach Harson was there for a long time with, with Coach Peterson, and so you see a lot of the same, uh, you know, things that they've done in the past, the shifts, the motions, the trades. The, but the, the bottom line is it's a lot of window dressing for running power football and then widening it with, with some of the fly stuff. Uh, and then, you know, some, some of the, you know, the trick plays and, and the misdirection stuff. So uh, it's a very effective attack. Uh, Coach Harson's done a great job with it. Uh, when he was with Coach Peterson, and then when he went to Texas, and I was at Texas A&M, he saw you know very similar things. Same thing at Arkansas State. So the guys are really good football coach. Uh, their players play extremely hard, which I think is a you know a great sign of a, a good coach, a well coached team. And you know they're they're very physical on both sides of the football. You know our our, our slack, for lack of a better term, is is has been you know erased. You know we've got to win out. And. You know, I reminded our team yesterday, the last two years, we've won the conference, we, we, won, we lost a conference game. Uh, you know, we don't have that luxury right now, we've already lost one. But we're tied for second in, in the conference, it's still early in the conference. You know, I really believe whoever wins and loses this game, you know, might separate themselves from the pack. So, uh, it's, a, it's a critical game for us, and, uh, you know, to go on the road, it's going to be difficult. But, but you know, I, I think our guys, when, when, when pressed, and backed into a corner, you know, are going to come out fighting. And, and I, I anticipate we'll do that on Friday.